This is a short tutorial video on installing Auto ATC for X-Plane on Windows. Firstly, download the plugin for X-Plane. Search the web for Auto ATC installation. Google will likely autocorrect Auto ATC into automatic. Click search instead for Auto ATC installation. You are looking for the page Main Installation Files for Auto ATC for Xplane 11 on xplane.org. Navigate to this page and download this file. You may need to log in first. When the download has finished, click the up arrow to the right of the file name and select Show in Folder. You may need to locate the file among others in the Downloads folder. For simplicity, extract the file with Windows Explorer. To do this, right click it, select Open with Windows Explorer. Select Extract All from the top of the window. Click Browse and navigate to the Xplane directory. Mine is on the desktop, labelled Xplane 11. Yours may differ. From the Xplane folder, double click Resources and then double click Plugins. You should get to a folder that looks like this. There may be more files if you have other plugins installed. Now click the button Select Folder. You should not need to show extracted files when complete, so you can uncheck this box and then click the Extract button. The next step is to install the Java Virtual Machine. A link to this is on the page you downloaded the plugin. Java is often updated to improve performance and security. Currently the latest version is 8.192 with the previous version 8.191 also available. Accept the license and download the latest 64-bit executable for your operating system. Here this is the Windows X64 file ending in EXE. Select this and click Save. The download may take a while depending on your internet connection. When it completes, run the executable and select Yes to allow it to make changes. Click the Install button. OK on important information and then wait for the install to complete. If everything went well, after this, Auto ATC for Xplane is now installed. When the install completes, close the installer. You may need to restart your computer to complete the installation. We can now check the installation by starting Xplane.
I prefer Linux for my main PC, so I only have X-Plane Demo installed on Windows for testing purposes. Start a new flight or resume a previous one. If everything went well, you should now have an Auto ATC option in the X-Plane plugins menu containing Open Log, Restart Radio and About. Please note the plugin will only activate when your plane's radios have power. If you have these op menu options and full information in the About dialog, everything is now installed and you can tune your radio to, into the local airport to listen to AI traffic. Additional controls to change to available frequencies and trigger voice recognition via the phone application are added to x commands, which can be bound to your joystick or keyboard. I'll now run through some troubleshooting tips should installation not have completed successfully. Auto ATC for X-Plane comes in two parts, as such there are two common places for installation problems to occur. The first part is the operating system specific plugin which provides the menu items and when using Auto ATC Pro draws any planes flying in your vicinity. If there is no Auto ATC option in the plugins menu, the file you extracted most likely ended up in the wrong folder. You should go back to the first minute of this video and ensure the plugin files were extracted to the correct location. The second part is when the plugin is installed correctly, however it cannot find the location of the Java Virtual Machine you downloaded. In this case, when starting X-Plane, you will be presented with this error message. Java is used for the cross-platform text-to-speech as well as networking, the AI server and phone application. The setting which tells the plugin where to find Java is stored within a text file called default JVM within the Java folder you extracted earlier. Therefore you need to navigate to this folder. Right click the default JVM file and select open with WordPad. Do not use Notepad. Along with the installation instructions for different operating systems, at the bottom of this file is the location the plugin should look for the Java Virtual Machine. This needs to match with the virtual machine installed on your computer. If a new version of Java has been released after the plugin, this location may not match the files on your computer. While it may be enough to simply change the version number, you should check this file matches what is on your system. You can do this by copying the folder information and pasting it into Windows Explorer. Here I have more than one installed. You want to select the most recent version. Make sure this folder matches that in the text file. Afterwards, save this file and restart X-Plane and all should be well. Fly safe.